Welcome back to A&Q. We are so glad that you are joining us as we consider some of the really big questions that people ask about the spiritual life. And today, I think we have a, a super important one. Uh, it's very timely. How do matters of faith and matters of science, how do they relate to each other? See, unfortunately, many people just assume that believing in God and being a serious, scientifically informed person are at odds with each other. And that doesn't have to be the case. In fact, it might surprise you to, to learn that the scientific method, you know, the one that we were all taught in middle school and high school, the, the scientific method that we know today was first conceived and developed by people of faith. And in fact, it was their pursuit of truth and exploration of science in those early days. They were living out their devotion to the God who created the world around them. And you saw this combination of the pursuit of knowledge and their faith, and it worked beautifully together. This was really the beginning of scientific exploration. So when people insinuate that, that that kind of exploration and devotion to God are somehow at cross purposes, well, honestly, it flies in the face of history itself um, because these things were connected from the very beginning. Now, that means that the question needs to be asked, how did we get to where we are today? to this place where it, it seems that there's a basic conflict between faith and science. Well, without covering too much historical ground, um, let me just say that I think it's important to briefly mention a period of time called the Enlightenment. Now, um, maybe you remember that term again from high school or this time college, but it refers to a period of time dating back to the to the late 17th century through the 18th century in Europe, and it was marked by a profound shift in thinking that, well, it completely changed the way we approach an awful lot today. In fact, philosophers and theologians have often described those of us who are living today, you and me, as children of the Enlightenment. But here's the thing, that's not entirely a compliment. See, while the Enlightenment brought with it some absolutely brilliant thinkers and innovations and discoveries, it also brought with it an assumption that I think does us more harm than good. And that's the assumption that everything in reality, I mean, everything we experience, we study, we think about, everything, everything can be fully understood and known. How? You guessed it, through the scientific method. But is that really true? Can everything really be mastered and conceptualized and understood? Think of it this way. When science, as a humble pursuit of knowledge, became science with a capital S, I think it came with some subtle presumptions. Can science really answer all questions? Can it solve all human dilemmas? Can it satisfy all of our longings? Now, you might be thinking, why is that such a big deal? Shouldn't we champion every pursuit of knowledge, no matter what. And I would say as people of faith, we are absolutely for the pursuit of knowledge, of learning, of discovery. But I also want to humbly caution us not to expect too much from one approach to understanding the world we live in. As utterly amazing as scientific exploration is, deep down, I think most of us know that not everything in life can be reduced to what is measurable. Think about it, questions like, what is consciousness? Uh, why are we here? Who is God? Those don't fit well in a laboratory, and yet they are a part of what we long to have answers for. Now, there are hints of, of this all over the scriptures. When God tells us that his ways are not our ways, we are invited to humbly consider that after all, we are not the masters of the universe. Many of us have come to be okay with that, and, and, and we know that there are limitations to our finite minds. Of course, there's another thing that doesn't help when it, when it comes to the apparent conflict between uh, science and faith, and that's when, honestly, when religious people treat every scientific endeavor with suspicion or even disdain as if every answer is explicitly written right here in the Bible and science can't help us understand the, the world we live in. That's not true. God gave us our minds to explore truth with excitement and reverence, knowing that while we aren't the masters of the universe, 
God delights in us exploring this world, this universe that he made with us in mind. See, I think it is, I think it's an incorrect statement to say that faith and science are, are diametrically opposed. Now, what do you think of that? Have you sometimes seen people uh, talk past each other in these kinds of conversations because of the assumptions that they make about the roles that science and faith play in each of our lives? I think it's worth uh, continuing this conversation and I hope, I hope that this video has helped us to at least zoom out a little bit from the assumptions that we often make and freed you up to engage in those conversations in a new way. We absolutely love talking about these things and I hope that you'll continue to send us more questions to consider together. So hit subscribe below if you haven't yet and we'll see you next time.